Kyle, you dressed up for Halloween. That's right. Today I am Kyle Orton, football player. You look awesome. Hey, man, look, I dressed up as you too. <gasps> hmm, something's not quite right. What do you mean? I've got the jersey, the hat, my neck beard game is strong. Uh, I don't know, something's missing. Hmm, let's see. <gasps> I know. <gasps> That's it! Yes! I am Kyle Orton! Hey everyone, welcome to Semi Elite. I'm Susanna Collins. Halloween is here and I could not be more excited. I love this holiday. It is so much fun to dress up and pretend to be somebody you're not. Kind of the same way the Buccaneers do every week when they pretend to be a real actual football team. It's precious. One of the other things I love about Halloween is the sense of spookiness that's all around. The air of mystery, if you will. And right now there is no bigger mystery in the NFL than the head-scratching circus that is the NFC East. And speaking of scratching, ugh, ugh, this thing itches like hell. <sighs> Much better. Who the hell is going to win this division? It's a damn mystery. Remember all that garbage football we talked about last week? Yeah, a whole lot of it is coming out of the NFC East. And here's the thing, a case can be made for any single one of these teams to come out on top. So that is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna unlock the mystery. These are my keys for each of these teams to win it. <laughs> Washington, here's the key for Washington. Easy, Kirk, you like that? You like that? Cousins, and no, all that candy corn I've been eating has not gone to my brain. This guy is on fire after leading his team to the biggest comeback in Washington's history. And here's a stat for you. Washington is undefeated when Kirk Cousins does not throw a pick. So as long as he keeps the interceptions at bay, anything is possible. The Eagles, so the Eagles are really weird. I cannot figure them out. I don't think that they're actually that bad of a team, but they're certainly not a good team. Offensively, they cannot figure it out. Their run game is non-existent, and their receivers are dropping passes like Butterfingers. One of my favorite Halloween treats, by the way. But my real key for the Eagles is on defense. Until that Carolina game, they had one of the best run defenses in the league, and they need to shore that up if they're going to have any chance of coming out on top of this division. Get it together, Chip. Dallas. Not a lot of good things to say about Dallas right now. And it's not really fair because some of that is not their fault. They have been incredibly unlucky in the injury department. You lose guys like Tony Romo and Des Bryant and inevitably things are gonna go into the shitter. But here's the good news. They are coming back and this is their key. Once those guys return, they are going to have to play exactly the kind of football we anticipated we would see from them from the beginning to dig themselves out of this hole. It can be done. The Giants. Hey, Giants, bravo! You're the only team with a winning record in the NFC East. Way to go! Four and three. Wow! So yeah, technically the Giants are in the driver's seat here. And the thing is they have overcome a slow start before. Talk about 2007, 2011, and that ended up pretty well for them. It's a little thing I like to call the Eli factor. As long as it's good Eli that shows up. Ah! It's just a mess, Donnie. Ah, that's even worse. So you just heard my keys for the Giants, but there's a guy who probably has a little bit better insight into Big Blue right now, and that is wideout Victor Cruz. Now, he has not taken the field this season. He is coming back from a knee injury, and now he's been sidelined with a calf injury, but he is hopeful he would get back on that field at some point, and I was able to catch up with him ahead of the premiere of his documentary, I Am Giant, which is premiering on Showtime on October 30th, FYI. And we discussed the film, battling back from injuries, a little football, of course, and his daughter's Halloween costume. P.S. I'm a little jealous. All right, I am here with uh, Victor Cruz, ahead of a, a very big moment for you, mm -hmm. the uh, premiere of your film, I Am Giant. How do you feel? You're about to kind of, you know, let people in into a very personal story of yours. Like, what, what, what's your nervous rate right now? Are um, you? It, it's pretty high. Yeah. Uh, because you know, you're letting people into your life. You're letting them into an inside look of what you go through every day and how you act and how, you know, 
you know, how people view things and things that they see in your life. This mm -hmm. is you. This is, you know, what you do. So you just want to hope they take away all the positive things from it. There are no negative things from it. <laughs> um, and just make sure they see you for you. That's my biggest thing. I want mm -hmm. people to take away that, oh, wow, he's a, he's a real human being mm -hmm. with real issues and real problems that everyone goes through. Um, you know, I'm not exempt from those feelings. So sure. I hope people take away the realness of the film. How much better of a team are the Giants when Victor Cruz is on the field? <laughs> this, is, this is your chance oh, to, um, I think, to really make I, your case I here. I think we, it, it, we are definitely better. I feel <laughs> like, you know, we add a different aspect to the game, a yeah. different uh, fire to the game, if you will, when, okay. when I'm out there on the field. And, and it's just my passion, the energy level that I play with. I think it's second to none. And, um, um, you know, with, with me out there on that field, it inspires everyone on the team to be better and to be great and inspires that greatness throughout the entire facility, the entire stadium. Yeah. So You're like, Odell, I did it first, buddy. Yeah, man, I'm like, excited. I'm excited. That's my guy. <laughs> That's my guy. He's doing it He's doing it for me right now while I'm not out there. So. He's awesome. All right, Halloween is this weekend, okay. and it's one of my favorite Halloween. But we didn't dress up. We I know. Are costumes. you? Okay, well, that was my... My costume's in the trunk. I'm ready to what? go. What? Are you serious? What is it? No, I'm lying. It's oh, not, man. I was going to ask, are you, uh, are you a fan of Halloween? Do you, do you dress up? Do you do big? Um, I have not been a fan of Halloween, to be honest, but let me, let me finish. So I haven't been a fan. But as the world knows, I have a three and a half year old daughter. Mm -hmm. And um, I asked her the other day, are you excited that daddy's gonna take you on Halloween and get gifts and, okay. and you know, get candy and stuff like that? And she, she goes, yeah, daddy, I'm excited, but what are you gonna dress up as? And I kind of looked at her, well, I'm, I'm already Victor Cruz, like I can't. But I gotta be a vampire or something. Oh. I gotta be something now. Vampire so. Victor Cruz is pretty cool So we'll cool see how though. it goes. I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards Spider-Man. She's gonna be spider Baby, spider if you baby, will. spider baby, and then um, and Victor then I, Cruz I, is Spider Man. Yeah, I think oh, I might you, be know, you gotta you gotta Instagram this stuff. Yeah, okay? yeah, I'm worried about how the outfit's gonna look. Come on, that's neither here nor there. Oh, it'll be fantastic. <laughs> hey, come back soon, Thank man. Thank you. And congratulations, this is great stuff. Thank you, I appreciate it. Last call. All right, last call. This one goes out to all the families who will be greeting trick-or-treaters at their door this Halloween. Give the kids what they want. Don't be Raisin House. Be Twix House. Be Butterfinger House. Be Reese's Peanut Butter Cup House. But raisins are terrible. They're not even that healthy. So if you think you're doing kids a favor by giving them raisins as a healthy treat, forget about it. Stick to chocolate. It's what they want. Whew. Thank you very much. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Semi Elite and have a safe and happy Halloween. <laughs>